Today's 90 second meta threat, we're going to be talking about Jessmon GX. Jessmon is a new threat in the meta. The deck is based around the Royal Knight Jessmon with the support of Sister Mons around him to be able to overwhelm the opponent. For the ideal play, the deck uses ST12 Savior Huckmon to evolve into ST12 Jessmon, which blitzes into security or a Digimon. With the effect of Savior Huckmon's Inheritable and Jessmon's when attacking to play two Sister Mons from the trash at the hand, you play out a Sister of Choice and BT10 CL. That CL lets you digivolve into another Royal Knight if it's still your turn, while paying its memory cost. If you've another CL of, in trash or hand, you can evolve into Jessmon X Antibody, allow all your Digimon to attack unspent Digimon, and gain 2k using its effect. It will play another Sistermon, which plays out the second CL to digivolve directly into GX, or you can ignore the Jessmon X Antibody altogether to evolve straight into GX from base Jessmon. GX lets you place a Royal Knight with play cost 13 or less into its sources, then activate that Digimon's when digivolving. You use this effect to place Gankumon X Antibody under Jessmon GX, activating its when digivolving effect to summon another Sistermon. Give all your Digimon plus 2k DP and then prevent all of your Digimon from being returned to the deck or hand or have their DP reduced. Then, using GX's All Turns effect, it gets Blocker, Piercing, and Extra Security check for each Royal Knight in its sources. With this full combo, it attacks for 5 checks and then creates a board that's nearly impenetrable for the next turn. It has a rough matchup into Blue Flare, as it can stun all of their Sister Mons and their Jess Mons and prevent them from being able to attack or block. But it can overwhelm meta threats such as Crossheart and Metal Guru Mon X Antibody, as Gankumon X protects your whole board from bouncing and DP reduction. 